Hello there, Nareg is here. Today I'm going to talk about the how to find the coordinates of a midpoint related to a segment, how to find the coordinates of a centroid of a triangle again in the um, Cartesian plane, and finally the distance between two points. Let's say we have two points A and B, how to find the distance between these two points. So I will start taking an example directly and uh, with this example, you're going to understand how to find a midpoint, centroid, and even the distance between a uh, couple of points. Now, let's say this is our coordinate system, and uh, OIJ, of course, I'm going to choose an orthonormal system. So this is x prime O x, y prime O y, and then I have uh, the unit vectors are i and j. So I'm using an orthonormal system, i and j, the unit vectors. We have the point A, which has the coordinates 1, 2, and uh, point B, which has the coordinates 3, 3. So A is 1, 2, B is 3, 3. So this is B. All right. Now, let's say I'm interested. The first thing I'm going to um, talk about is the components of a vector AB. Let's say I'm interested in the vector AB. In order to find its components, it's very simple. You have to say it's x of B minus x of A. So it's 3 minus 1, which is 2. And y of B minus y of A which is equal to 3 minus 2 is equal to 1. So AB can be written as 2, 1. These are the components of the vector AB. Of course, you can write down AB in the form of xi, 2i, plus yj, plus 1j. And this is um, the form of this vector AB. Now, um, how are we supposed to find the midpoint of the segment AB? So this is our segment AB, let's say. I, midpoint of, midpoint of AB. How am I supposed to find its coordinates? Very simple, you have to use um, a property related to the midpoint of a segment so this is I, let's say. Uh, you can say that OA vector plus OB vector is equal to 2OI vector. So OI vector is equal to 1 over 2OA plus OB. All right? Um, so you have to say that your vector is equal to 1 over 2 x of a of course related to i plus y of b y of a uh, regarding j plus x y of a plus y of b and then you have to uh, rearrange it will be x of a plus x of b over 2 with respect to the vector i plus y of a plus y of b with respect to the vector j so the coordinates of the point i which is the midpoint of the segment uh, uh, a b will be x of i will be equal to x of a plus x of b over 2 so x of a is 1 plus x of b is 3 over 2 it's 2 and similarly y of i is equal to y of a plus y of b over 2 so in this case it will be 2 or 2 plus 3 5 over 2 5 over 2 so these are the coordinates of the point i as you can see i it has the coordinates 2 5 over 2 all right uh, this was related to the midpoint. Now, how am I supposed to find the centroid of a triangle? Let's say we have 
again a system an autonormal system I'm gonna again choose a one two three a B three three so we have a one two B is three three and let's say we have C also which has the coordinates 2 1 now the centroid of this triangle ABC this is a triangle ABC is called G I'm gonna call the centroid as the point G so G centroid of a triangle ABC how am I supposed to find the coordinates of G you have to remind you know, we have to remind you that you can use the formula that um, OA plus OB plus OC is equal to 3 OG I already talked about this property in a previous video so you can say that OG is equal to 1 over 3 1 over 3 OA plus OB plus OC again is equal to 1 over 3 X of A regarding I plus Y of A regarding J plus X of B regarding I plus Y of B regarding J plus X of C regarding I plus Y of C regarding J now in this case you have to rearrange it so you can say that it's X of A plus X of B plus X of C to the over 3 with respect to the vector I plus Y of A plus Y of B plus Y of C over 3 with respect to the vector J so X of G is equal to X of A 1 plus 3 plus 2 over 3 so it's 6 over 3 it's 2 and y of g is equal to 2 plus 3 plus 1 over 2 so it's again 6 over, six over 3 so it's 6 over uh, 3 it's again 2 so the coordinates of your centroid of this triangle is g 2 2 so this is how you find the coordinate of your uh, of the centroid of your triangle ABC now the last case is to find the distance again we have an orthonormal system I'm gonna choose a 1 2 and B 3 3 so B this is 1 2 3 and B 3 so this is B let's say how am I supposed to find AB, the norm of the vector AB? Very simple. This is your vector AB. And in, if you ca in case you pay attention to, um, this will be a right triangle. So in case we're going to call this H. So AB squared will be equal to AH, AH squared plus HB squared. And of course, AH represents the distance x of b minus x of a plus hb is y of b minus y of b a to the power of 2 so we can say ab in norm is equal to the square root of x of b minus x of a to the power of 2 plus y of b minus y of a to the power of 2 so let's calculate it so it will be equal x of b is 3 minus 1 3 minus 1 to the power of 2 plus y of b 3 minus 2 to the power of 2 so it's 2 to the power of 2 4 plus 3 minus 2 is equal to 1 to the power of 2 it will remain 1 so I can simply say it's 4 plus 1 so AB in values will be equal to square root of 5 and this is how you have 
the value of your segment. This is the distance between the two points A and B. That's all for this video. Why don't you subscribe to my channel? You'll be notified whenever I upload new material. And I can also share with you my Instagram and Facebook account. You can uh, contact me or why not leave a comment below. That's all for this time and see you later.